Hello, boy, and want a beard. So in a video titled, Do I Know Blackbeard? Which I do, I do, I've already explained it. If you want to know how I know Blackbeard, go back and watch the last video, go on. I know you want to. I started talking about the Kraken and how Blackbeard said he saw the Kraken. Well, I, I, I said in that I might do a video like explaining whether the Kraken exists. This is that video. I haven't ran out of ideas during October. Does the fearsome Kraken exist? Yes. I suppose you want a fucking explanation to why. As a matter of fact, I have seen the Kraken. I have met the Kraken. I have done war with the Kraken. Bit of a bastard if you don't ask me, but if, well, hopefully you do ask me. Hopefully I'm not just walking around the street going, bit of a bastard, really. Now, Blackbeard warned me of the Kraken, the fearsome Kraken. You know, it's like, Blackbeard, it's not real. Stop talking a load of shit. I think you've been smoking your beard a little bit too much, Blackbeard. You, the Kraken doesn't exist. And then I was sailing the seas and then I saw that bastard. He, he, he's fucking huge, I can tell you that now. This Kraken even made, look at the any tall beard, a bit smaller. Like, a lot, a lot smaller. We were sailing the seas. All of the men around, it was quite lovely and peaceful to watch. The sun was blaring out, it looked booty, it did. Not a raindrop in sight. Underneath the boat, we hear a little rumble. <laughs> that was anything but a fucking rumble. Were there like, what the fuck is that? Is it a little whale? Is it a little shark? Is it just a little fish? Or is it a fucking animal that's come back to life to haunt Greybeard because he fucking ate it? Rest in peace, Dipsy. It all went quiet, and we were like, what the fuck is going on? We don't know why it's gone so quiet, but oh, it, it should be all right now. It was just a little rumble. It, it might just have been a whale bit hungry, so we'll just carry on sailing. And then the rumble happened again, and we were like, what's going on? And then all of a sudden, the boat's starting to fucking rock a little bit, and it's going like, oh shit, this could be quite dangerous. 12 feet on the right side. 12 feet on the left side. The, it, it, it just went black of the ship. So I'll explain that again because that's fucking... I don't know why I explained it like that. So from the front to the back of the boat, to the side, to the side, there was like a 12 feet circumference there. And why am I talking about circumferences? This isn't fucking maths. It went black, but it wasn't like a shadow. It was moving. It was moving around like so it'd go like 12 from both sides and then it'd go 11 to 13 and then 10 to 14 and then it would go back and then it would be like 11 to 13 and then 12 to 12 and it was like what the fuck is going on? An arm. Should I call it an arm? Well, I think it's technically called a tentacle. One tentacle came out from, from the seas and we were looking at it and we were like oh my God, what in the blue fairy cakes are you? Another one came from this side of the boat and I thought we were gonna get a nice hug from the Kraken, I'm not gonna lie. It was like, or oh, come here for a bit of a smooch. Turns out I was completely fucking wrong. At the side of the boat and I was like, oh fuck, this motherfucker means business. He broke a bit of the fucking wood off the boat so I was a little bit angry so I was like, bodge beard, I need a bodger. As he's bodging, all of a sudden, in Bodge Beard's eyesight, all he saw was this. This is cringy as fuck, I'm not gonna do this. Basically, he bitch slapped Bodge Beard. Bodge Beard went flying over the way to the other sea boat thingy. Well, we were still on the same boat, but he like, flew to the other side of the boat. And then all of a sudden, I knew that we were having a battle there and then. So I turned to my men. Fellow pirates on this ship, this may be your greatest day of your life. And it will sure as hell be the scariest. We have conquered many things on this 
ship. We have conquered ship after ship. We have conquered captain over captain. We have conquered ducks over ducks. And the most important one yet, we have conquered watching all of the episodes of Two and a Half Men with Ashton fucking Kutcher. If that doesn't say that we can't do nothing, then I don't know what does. So we're gonna go and see the Kraken, and we're gonna go fight the cat or Kraken, Kraken, whatever it's called, I forgot the fucking name. And we are gonna show it that you do not mess with the water boat and the shipmates and the pirates that are on it. They all kind of went, oh, all right, then let's, let's fucking go and fight. Swords, guns, cannons, everything were flying off. Why am I talking out my nose? Makes a change out of talking out my ass for a change. The Kraken could roar as much as it liked. It knew it pissed off pirates and it knew it was scared because he picked the wrong fucking pirates to piss off. Kraken came for me. He hit me so hard I almost went sparko. Like I saw stars and I shook them and I was like, right then, let's see what you're really made of. And then by that time I said, Iron Brew Beard, get the fire. Iron Brew Beard managed to get the bottles, chill out him on fire, chuck him at the Kraken. One tentacle down. Bodge Beard, he ended up super gluing two tentacles together, which I'll admit made a little bit worse, but we won't go there. I mean, it was, it, but we separated again, don't worry. Bodge Beard then super glued both tentacles to the fucking boat. Buzzing Beard was like stinging him all the time. I was like, buzzing, mate. Buzz, buzzing, mate. Look at the any tall beard was looking at the Kraken and then he was starting to do the, the double fucking hammer fist while shouting smash 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 <laughs> Grey beard ate the other tentacle it, it was quite a messy thing I'm not gonna lie to you it was like he was there and he was numbing and numbing and numbing and going oh, I like feet and fucking beats and animals is fucking great and then to deliver the final blow as the Kraken was stuck on the ship I pointed the cannon Directly at his stupid, ugly face. Now I know what you're thinking, Kraken. Have I lit the fuse? Or have I not? But to be honest, of all this excitement, I've kind of lost track myself. But since this is a wanna blow your fucking head off cannon, and it'll take your head clean off of your shoulders, you gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do ya? Crack. I then turn to Lavy Beard. Lavy Beard, full seas ahead. He went the fastest he's ever gone on the one boat as the Kraken was fucking getting dragged along. And the cannon was fired. And he went miles out into the seas. And I haven't had a single bit of trouble with him yet. And if I ever do, and if the shipmates ever do, don't worry. You will be the first to know here on Talktober. It's nearly over now, so you might not be able to hear it in Talktober. You might have to hear it in another one. Thank you very much for watching the video. Does Kraken exist? Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, like the video. Comment on the video. Share the video. Everything you can. Uh, subscribe if you like this sort of shit. Me talking a load of nonsense. And uh, yeah, that's. I think that's the fucking end. Right? Thank you very much. Good boy. No, wait. I forgot. I'm one of Beard, you're you, I'm a pirate, so are you. Peace the hell out. Goodbye, Kraken. Bring him from the yard, arr.